guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Tailwind Interval tool. It's kind of a hidden feature from Tailwind that you can use to pin pins at an interval to several different boards over a period of time and it's kind of really cool and there are three ways how you can do this and I'm going to show you all three of them today. So I'm just quickly going to switch to Pinterest. This is my uh, What's Katie Up To? A board from my blog and I'm just going to take one pin and schedule it. So this pin I want to use uh, as an example and I'm going to save it for later so it will appear um, on my drafts page and that's kind of really important otherwise it won't work. So if I go here to back to Tailwind, where am I? <laughs> and I go to my drafts you can see that my pin is here. We don't need that one. So my, this is the pin that I want to schedule with an interval over the next uh, maybe week or month. Um, and there are three ways to do it. So first of all, and it's really important, um, it only works if you put in more than one uh, board that you want to interval to uh, pin this to. So I've created this group board list, which includes five uh, different group boards that I am part of um, and that I want to pin this uh, pin to these group boards over the next week um, so that I don't appear spammy when I pin it to maybe all uh, those group boards at once. So what I want to do is I put it in and then here at the bottom uh, this use interval uh, button appears uh, which is otherwise not there and then this like kind of scheduler appears and here you have the three different uh, time slots that you can schedule it to and I'm going to show you how to use that now. So if you use this open time slot basically you can set a time here maybe one day and it will pin uh, this pin to the different five boards over the period of the next day uh, at an interval of one day. Um, and open time slot means that it will start at the end of what you've already scheduled. So I like to start um, my Monday <laughs> scheduling my pins for the week. Um, so this pin when it's set like this one day, um, you can put in like four days if you prefer that. I'm just gonna do one day now. Um, so if I set this, it will uh, start at the end of what I've already scheduled at the interval of one. So I will set that and then schedule it. And if you go to your scheduling scheduler now, you can see that it will start at the next available slot of your schedule and then pin it at an interval of one day to the group boards or boards that you've chosen. And it's really, really amazing because uh, you might, might choose to set an interval of two days or one week or yeah, just it's really great and amazing to schedule your um, most important posts to the different boards without like appearing spammy. So this is basically the first uh, way you can do this. Let me just quickly grab one of those pins that I have pinned now, maybe this one, and send it back to drafts to show you the uh, second version of how you can pin that. So if I go back to my drafts and delete that and choose the list um, of uh, the boards that we've chosen before and use the interval to and you can also set this to optimize. So what that means is that it won't start at the end um, but maybe you forgot um, that you were publishing a post um, like during the week or today um, but you've already scheduled everything on like your Tailwind uh, schedule um, and you want to include uh, this pin into your schedule and do maybe exactly the same thing that we've done before but not like uh, start at the end but start maybe today. So we've again set this as interval one um, but set it to optimize and this is how uh, this is going to change it. If I set the schedule it This has now set, uh, when I set it to one day, uh, put this into uh, my schedule that I've already done and 
as you can see it starts here and then at the interval of one this has included it into my schedule that I've already prepared and I've just set it to one beside um, so this uh, pin was on uh, slot one and it just now moved to slot two and it's locked so that it won't uh, move if you shuffle which is kind of amazing as well uh, you can unlock it by just pressing the little lock key so this is the second option just let me show you uh, the third so if I go back to drafts um, choose my boards and use interval and go to the exact uh, time slot you can choose um, the exact time slot that you want to uh, put that in so basically what it has done before it is has set it to the first um, of the end slot or it has set it to the first of the today or tomorrow or whatever but you can also set an exact time when you want to schedule this so maybe I want to set it for today but not like exactly at this time so you can also set the time here. So maybe I want to set it to, I don't know, 6 p.m. because I feel like then a lot of my viewers are going to see it. So I press done. And what I will do, it will do the exact same thing, but just at the exact time when you set it. So I set it and I schedule it. And as you can see, it has now included it here at the exact time that I want it um, at the interval of uh, this time. And it will publish the next at the exact times one day apart uh, from each other. So these are the three uh, ways how to set the interval tool in Tailwind. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that was helpful for you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I would love uh, to hear your questions uh, and respond to them. And I will talk to you very soon with a new video. Bye bye.